If you have no questions, then let's proceed to impulse and impulsive force. Impulse. Let's see what does it mean by impulse. Huh? Now, by definition, impulse. Uh, now there are two impulse here. Okay, cancel the first one. So cancel this one. Huh? Impulse is the product between the force F with the time of impact T. Okay. Now, what does this mean? Impulse is equal to the force multiplied by the time. The time is the time uh, the force applied on that object. Okay, and that is called impulse. Huh? For example, for examples, if we have an object, okay, there's a 20 Newton force pulling this object, and uh, how long? How long this force pull on this object? It pull it uh, 30 seconds. Okay, it pull it 30 seconds. So 20 Newton force apply on this object for 30 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. So what's the impulse? What's the impulse? So the impulse okay, is equal to the force F times the time. Eh? And the force is 20 Newton and the time is 30 seconds. So therefore is equal to 600. Eh? And uh, the unit for force is Newton and the unit for time is seconds. So it's 600 Newton seconds. So that is impulse. Okay, that is impulse. Now impulse is also defined as a change in momentum. When you give an impulse, then you can cause a change of momentum. Okay. Uh, so impulse is a vector quantity because momentum is a vector quantity. Yeah? So therefore impulse is a vector quantity. Yeah? So impulse is equal to mv minus mu. Okay. Yes, you can. You're correct. Okay. Impulse is also equals to mv minus mu. Eh? mv minus mu and this mv minus mu is the change in momentum eh? this mv minus mu is a momentum change okay it's a momentum change uh, example let's say we have an object 2 kg okay and we give a force to this object initially it move with it move with 3 meter per seconds 3 meter per seconds eh? so uh, after a while okay the the uh, the velocity become eight meter per seconds. Okay, so the velocity increased from three meter per seconds to eight meter per seconds. Huh? Okay. Uh, so what's the momentum before the force acting on this object? What's the momentum? Yes. What's the momentum? Six, right? Okay. Momentum is equal p yeah? equals to mass times Velocity, yeah, which is equal to 6 kg ms negative 1. Okay, uh, how about the momentum after the motions? Momentum after the motions, okay, the momentum p2, uh, let's say this is p1, p2 equal to uh, 2 kg times uh, 8 meter per second, so it becomes 16, uh, 16 kg ms negative 1. Okay. Okay, now when you give a force to this object, uh, okay, and cause the velocity to change, uh, then we say uh, an, an impulse is given to this object because impulse will cause momentum change. Uh. When there's a momentum change, for sure there's impulse. Okay, so then uh, what's the impulse? Okay, the impulse I is equal to the uh, final momentum minus the initial momentum. Uh. Okay, initial momentum is 6. Okay, 16 minus 6 so it's equals to 10 kg ms negative 1 okay or you want to straight away use this equation you can, okay my m is 2 my v is uh, 8 and then my minus my m is 2 and then my u is uh, 3 okay and then i get uh, 10 okay uh, if you want to use the formula to find also can okay kg ms negative 1 okay so so impulse is also uh, defined as a change in momentum. Okay, momentum change, uh, mv minus mu. So we have two equations or two formula for impulse, uh, ft or mv minus mu. Uh, so that is impulse.